Hi, I'm going to make a quick video showing you how to get music into iTunes and probably ultimately you're going to be putting it on your iPod or iPhone or similar to device when the music that you have comes in on a USB key and that likely is that it's coming in on in, in an MP3 format. So what we need to do is first insert the USB key I'm doing that now. You should get this autoplay dialog popping up and the item that you want to select is open folder to view files. From here you can see the music that you want to copy into iTunes. If I open this folder we'll see I've got some set of mp3 files. Your first inclination might be just to either take the folder or take the individual files and drop them right into iTunes. That's not the right thing to do, but let me show you what happens when you do that. So we're going to, we've got iTunes open here, you can see this window. We've got music selected, so this is all of our music in iTunes. I'll drag that folder which contains the MP3 files and put it into iTunes. That music uh, is here. So we'll see it is now in iTunes. The problem is that the music on my thumb drive is coming from my H drive. And if I right click on any one of the songs and do get info, and on this summary tab we'll see that iTunes knows this music is on the H drive. That's my thumb drive. The problem with that is that when I remove my thumb drive, which I'm doing right now, iTunes is no longer going to have that H drive available. So if I try to play this song, it's going to say iTunes couldn't play this song because the original could not be found. You'll see that now iTunes, whenever I try to play any of these songs, is going to give me this exclamation point on the left. Because the song is no longer actually connected to your computer. I'm going to select all of these songs that it's not going to be able to play, and I'm going to delete them. Let me show you the right way to do this. So we'll say delete songs. Now they're no longer in iTunes. If at this point you would have, before we deleted them, if you would have tried to sync to your iPod, that, those songs wouldn't have been copied over because iTunes doesn't know where they are. So I'm again going to insert my USB key. I get the same dialog. What do I want to do with these? I'm going to say open folder to view files again. Now what you need to do is copy these to your computer's hard drive. So I'm going to select the folder by single clicking on it, left click. Now I want to go to the edit menu. And you see I don't have an edit menu here anywhere. If I press the alt key that's going to bring up my menu. Depending on what version of Windows you might have had that edit menu already but just press the alt key and that will toggle those menus on and off. I'm going to say edit and I'm going to say copy. So that's put those mp3 files onto my clipboard which is the first thing you have to do when you copy. The next thing we want to do is put them somewhere where you keep all of your music. In this case it might be uh, this library's music folder that you see on the left. Uh, place these wherever it makes sense for you. It, it doesn't matter where you put them particularly as long as they're on your hard drive and not on the USB key. So here's an iTunes folder, you could just pop it right in there. If we now go back to the edit menu, again we can press the alt key if we don't see that edit menu and select paste. Alternatively you could have just pressed control V, that's what these shortcut keys over here tell you. So we'll say paste and now we'll see this some music folder is actually on my hard drive. If you went up to this location up here, you'll see 
This is actually on the C drive, which is the hard drive. On the Mac, it's very similar. You're just going to have to find a directory that is located on your main hard drive. You could put them on the desktop if you wanted. Uh, just put them somewhere on your hard drive, and if you have your system backed up, as you should, make sure it's someplace on your system where your uh, files get backed up. So now, I'm going to take this folder that I've copied from the thumb drive to my local hard drive. I'm going to drop this over back into iTunes, that folder. Now we've got our songs again in iTunes, as we did before. Uh, we still have the same search, so we they come up right away. If we do this same right-click, Get Info, here on the summary page, you're going to see that it's different now. It's no longer referring to the thumb drive, the H drive. It's now on my hard drive. In, in the directory where I've placed that music. At this point now, if you sync your iPod, uh, all those files should now appear on your iPod just exactly as they appear here on iTunes, unless you have your iPod syncing selectively. And if you have your iPod syncing music selectively, hopefully at this point you already know how to add these files to that selective sync. Thanks and good luck. Enjoy your music.